Hey everybody, welcome to the Natural Medic Adventures. My name is Craig. I am the Natural Medic. Welcome. Now last week I started the video with an interesting monument and this is another interesting monument in the area as well. If you look behind me there is a uh, monument to Henry B. Joy, first president of the Lincoln Highway Association. You might be asking yourself, what is the Lincoln Highway Association? You see behind me, back in the early 1900s there was not an intercontinental roadway for automobiles to travel on and so Henry B. Joy actually started that off. So I wanted to start this week's video off by showing you this. It's a pretty cool monument. Almost looks like his head is up there and his body is encased in that granite. But anyway, hey, why not put it in Wyoming, right? I'm going to go do some hiking and I hope you'll join me. Oh, also just to mention, right here with Mr. Lincoln, we're at the highest point on Interstate 80 between the East Coast and the West Coast, 8,640 feet. Okay, so I'm at the trailhead and I tried to do a trail, I believe it's called Pole Mountain Haunted Forest. I'm not sure the other part, about a six and a half mile trip. Did five miles last week, should be all right. Let's go check it out. Hey, stopping for a little snack break, a little water break. Standing right here by Pole Creek. I would assume the trail is named for, or the creek is named for the trail, I don't know. <clears throat> but so far it's a little different than last week's hike. The trail seems to be used pretty heavily by mountain bikers. Probably seen about a dozen so far. <clears throat> there is a $5 fee to access, but I think it's well worth it. So I'm definitely deep in the forest here, and the temperature dropped about 5 or 6 degrees, at least, once I got into the forest. I'm not sure what the temperature was. When I left the house this morning, the temperature was 56. It warms up today to 75 here in southeastern Wyoming. I don't know, but so far I'm enjoying this. I'm about a mile and a tenth in, and I got about five more to go. You do see some meadows here in between the forests. Pretty cool. Let's take a look around here. Beautiful. And it's a gorgeous day for hiking. Yeah, so right here, about almost two miles into the trail, looks like this is maybe used to be a campsite over here. Right behind me, there's a picnic table. There's more picnic tables on the other side of those trees, and there's a like a pit toilet area right there. And it looks like a little road went right there, and of course there's a post for a campsite, and then there's there as well. And then there's another picnic table I just noticed over here. Interesting how the forest is overtaken. Not sure how long this has been abandoned, but I would guess at least 20 years, maybe longer. Maybe the 90s. Don't know. But it sure is interesting. Just a side note. Nice trail snack. Little peanuts. It's less than a two-ounce pack, so it's pretty lightweight. But in this little deal, you got 13 grams of protein, 290 calories, perfect trail snack. Hello again. This portion of the trail appears to have a lot of horse activity today. There's lots of hoof prints, shoe prints in the tread of the trail. And maybe there's some horses up here. I don't know. Some other trail users told me there was a horse race going on, which I'm wondering about, but okay. <laughs> but you can see, this is what we're looking at. An open meadow on the edge of the forest here. Got some horse poop. Lovely. It smells so fragrant. I love it. Not really. But horses will be horses. Of course. <laughs> Let's keep going. If you need some water, there you go. Again, I don't drink raw water from the field. I filter it. But there's a place right there. It's pretty much a pond. I'm going to venture a guess. There's probably beaver activity. And uh, look at that big mountain over there. I don't know what mountain that is, but it looks cool. 
can definitely see definitely beaver activity. See the beavers have chopped the tops of these stumps off and put them in there. So that's what probably formed this pond right here. But you could get water out of there if you need to. I would prefer getting it out of a flowing stream, which is earlier in the trek. But hey, you do what you got to do. Three miles into the trek today and starting to get a little chafing on my inner thighs there. Just due to sweating. It's not that hot out here, but I'm exerting myself and I'm sweating. So if you're like me, I would pick up some of this body glide. I'll put a link in the description for you to check out. It's an anti chafing balm. So it's like a deodorant stick. You can just rub it wherever you're getting chafing and it takes care of it for you. Anyway, just a little PSA. So right now I'm walking on it looks like old Happy Jack Road. Don't know who he was, but evidently Jack was a happy boy. He got a road named after him. <laughs> but let's look around here. There's some more beaver ponds and a big old, I'd call it a mountain, but around here they might call it a hill. I'm gonna continue this way over this little bridge right here and see what we come up with next. It's like the horse people have some kind of streamers on the trees to follow the trail for whatever they're doing but it's a pretty easy trail to follow so far so I'm gonna keep going this way that's a great view right here I'm standing in a meadow at the beginning of the haunted forest trail section of today's hike there's a nice big I'd call it a mountain I don't know what the name of it is but it looks cool there's a little bit of road noise, Happy Jack Road maybe, or the road going to Kirk Gowdy, I think it's just over there. And not too far from the interstate, but can't hear the interstate, thank God. Um, but man, what a, what a lovely view. Everything around us. Y'all should be here. Y'all should be here. And if you ever get a chance, you should come here. And by the way, if you're liking this video, give me that good old thumbs up. Let me know that you approve. That YouTube can send it out to other people to enjoy as well. On the haunted forest trail still. Hey, I didn't see any ghosts or goblins or witches or anything like that, but man, the views are sure haunting. Man, what a deal. What a deal. Beautiful. Beautiful, just beautiful. I believe this trail is just under seven miles, like 6.6. .6. So we're past the halfway point at about three and three quarters. I'm going to keep pushing toward the summit right here. I may stop and rest and have a little Sherman join this hike. Hope you are too. Again, if you are, give me that thumbs up. Definitely a couple places on this trail make you wonder if you're on the right trail. Obviously, this trail is well tread. You can see bicycle tracks, footprints. Over there, that must be the old trail. Looks to me like it's been overgrown and stuff falling over it a long time. So I followed a little side trail, which seemed to be a little bit more well designated, well tread, trod, whatever the word is, and it worked out fine, because here we are. There's a lot of intersecting trails out here, but took a little rest break on this little creek on the bridge here, nice and peaceful. Started to go this way. But I need to go that way. Maybe this part behind me, where there's down trees and the trail is covered up and a little overgrown, maybe that's where the haunted forest part <laughs> comes in. It's a little spooky knowing where the trail goes. Still haven't seen any witches, goblins, ghosts, zombies, vampires, nothing like that. So I'm a little disappointed in that. Hey, look at these cool mushrooms. Now don't quote me on this, y'all. But I think right there, I think that's moose droppings. I've never seen a live moose, but I'm prepared to give it a plenty of a wide berth because they're big mamma jammas and they need all the space they can get. Look no further and you've got a special tree here. Some kind of berries. I'm not sure exactly what they are. Back in East Texas, we have dewberries, which are very similar. Being a forester, I identified they are in the same family, and they are safe to eat. Bon appetit. Delicious. Once you go this, come this way, 
you go through this gate. That's the Haunted Forest Trail. Also known as the Trail of Much Sweating, <laughs> as you can see from my face. Right here, there's a junction. There's four trails going off in different directions. Behind me, of course, is the Haunted Forest Trail, which is Trail 783. Headquarters Trail, Crow Creek, over here to the right. And Summit Trail, taking the, the one back here, back to the vehicle. Okay, I'm on the Summit Trail. <laughs> When you know it, it started to rain. It's not raining very hard yet. And it actually feels pretty good. <laughs> I'm not going to put a poncho on yet. I did not bring a rain jacket. I have a poncho though. I'll just enjoy a nice cool rain. Because uh, I was sweating earlier trying to go through the Haunted Forest Trail. Hey everybody, it's getting nasty out here. The rain is coming down. It's thundering. I haven't seen any lightning. And I feel okay because I'm under tree cover partially, but I am headed back to the truck as fast as possible. I will do a wrap up once I get to the truck. So stand by for that. I finally had to break up my rain gear because it got raining pretty hard. You might hear some thunder in a minute. I haven't seen any lightning, but it has been thundering pretty hard. I'm trying to get back to the vehicle quickly as I can. Woo! That's some thunder right there. Thunder rolls and lightning strikes, as Garth Brooks says. Okay, folks, I made it back. If you're wondering about the Hawaiian lei, um, it's red, white, and blue for America. And I guess you can say I'm supporting the rebuilding efforts in Hawaii. Um, awful things that have happened there. If you're able to give, you should give. Glad I made it back to the truck, back to our present subject. It started thundering and lightning. It's, now that I'm back at the truck, it's now sunshiny. But I did complete the trail. I took a little bit of a different route than all, t all trails recommended and ended up being about 7.45 miles according to my Garmin uh, watch. And about, it was about eight something. Let's see, according to all trails. Make sure that when you're out there, be safe. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Until next time, y'all. I'll see you on the trail.